The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I think... Excuse me, sir. Good morning. Homeland Security Patrol. We just happened to notice you stood and said something just now. A public statement of some kind. May we ask you to explain your public statement? I was pledging allegiance. Pledging? Yes. Allegiance? To whom? To the flag. By flag? You mean... Uh... The American flag. Oh, that, I see. Were you sincere in this pledge of your allegiance, sir? Yes, of course I was. By sincerely pledging this allegiance of yours, are you implying that other flags aren't worthy of allegiance? No, I'm just sincere in my allegiance to that particular flag. Expresses public hatred for flags of other countries. That's not what I said. Aggressive? Suddenly denies expression of hatred? I'm an American. I, I love America. Isolationist rhetoric. 
Look, I'm at what publicly abhors diversity? Right-winger. What's wrong with my pledging allegiance to the flag of my country? Oh, and that other thing, uh, you mentioned someone that you were standing under? Something like that? Well, under God. God, I see. And exactly which God would that be referring to? Which God? The uh, God God. The God of our forefathers. You know, religious bigotry is kind of frowned upon around here. Well, sir. Come on, guys. Uh, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. That's the Declaration of Independence. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Constitution. Teabagger. And all that old stuff. Give me a break. Look, officer, what exactly is the problem here? Are you challenging my authority, sir? Answer the man, John Wayne. No, I, I'm just unclear what's going on here. Actively tries to deflect focus from public impropriety. Impropriety? Fane's ignorance. You're pushing it, pal. Have I done something wrong, officer? What's in the cup? Coffee. Where did you procure that? I bought it at a coffee shop down the block. Mm -hmm. He's high on something. Unknown substance. Attempt to conceal. I wasn't concealing anything. Denies concealing unknown substance. What? I... Look, buddy, you've dug yourself in pretty deep here. Now, I'm specially trained to spot people who may be contemplating acts of terrorism. I'd think long and hard if I were you about saying another word. I thought so. If we didn't have more pressing matters, Come on, I'd... man. Let's do this. Okay. It's in the trunk. I'll get it. So it'll only take a minute. Officer, why did you take down that flag and replace it with... That flag's better. It's metal. So it won't burn. What do you want to do with this thing? Throw it in the trunk. We'll need something to wash the car with. Right. Is this real life or some Bay of Pigs pre-election year hallucination? People, the US and Israel are in a panic. Occupy America is growing and the corporate media are unable to get a handle with which to ridicule and dismiss it. In desperation, the plan is to launch a major war with Iran, which will mean war with Russia, then use that resulting world war to demand the American people forget all about Wall Street's mortgage-backed security fraud, all about the ruined economy, all about the other wars, all about the lies, salute the flag and throw your money and our children into the bayonets of Israel's enemies on command. Because that's what worked the last two times. And the only people who can stop this are you. I need all of you to drop what you're doing and call your local TV station, your local newspapers, your Congress critters, and tell them in no uncertain terms that you know this Iranian plot is total bullshit, and you refuse to fight any more wars to save Israel or to save Wall Street. Then call all your friends and family and ask them to do the same. Do it now. Tomorrow may be too late. To delay is to lose. If we do not choose to fight against these money junkies now, we will soon have no choice but to fight for the money junkies from now on. If they get this war they want launched, none of us will ever live to see a time of peace again. Is that the world you want to leave to your children? Get angry, make noise, be heard, be seen, be a member of the human race. Do the right thing.